The NBA is no stranger to surprises and last night's game between the Philadelphia 76ers and the Atlanta Hawks was no exception. The 76ers, who were missing several key players due to it being the end of the season, managed to pull off a stunning upset against a fully healthy Hawks team and a thrilling race to overtime that left fans, especially myself, on the edge of my seat. What made the 76ers win so impressive was the fact that the Hawks practically let a G League team beat them. With the 76ers missing so many players, it was expected that the Hawks would come away with an easy win. However, the 76ers had other plans and they executed their game plan to perfection. In today's video, we'll be focusing on the three players who stepped up for the 76ers and helped secure a very crucial victory against a hungry Hawks. Team. We will also be breaking down film on how these three players executed key plays down the stretch, analyzing their decision making, and discussing how they were able to outmaneuver the Hawks defense. Before we get into all that, make sure you smash the subscribe button as I noticed that more than 90% of you guys are not subscribed. And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you demolish a like button. That's enough of me, let's get right into today's video. So enough of me talking, let's talk about the first player that stood out the most on the 76ers and this was George Niang. Yang may not be the most athletic player on the court, but he proved to be a game changer for the 76ers in their thrilling win over the Hawks. Yang, who had been averaging just 5.7 points per game prior to this matchup, exploded for a career high 24 points, 6 rebounds, and 2 assists, showcasing his incredible scoring ability and clutch playmaking. One of the key areas where Yang excelled was his ability to drive to the paint and finish at the rim. Despite not possessing the raw athleticism of some of his peers, Niang showed a remarkable understanding of how to get past defenders and create scoring opportunities for himself and his teammates. So let's break down some film on how Niang scored in the paint because everybody thinks he's only a 3 point shooter. On this play Niang is on the right wing and first thing he does is that he pump fakes to get his defender to jump and once his defender jumps he goes right at the paint, does another euro step and makes a difficult finger roll layup. And on the second play, Niang catches Bogdanovich sleeping, so he automatically drives into the wide open patch that he sees in the paint and does an easy floater. Guys, I do not want to hear about Niang being a player that can only shoot. He can do much more than that. Now let's move on to the second player that stood out to me on the 76ers, and this was Jalen McDaniels. McDaniels proved to be a true force on both ends of the court for the 76ers in their nail-biting victory over the Atlanta Hawks. The 6'9 forward showcased his elite defensive skills by recording an impressive 3 steals and 1 block effectively shutting down the Hawks' offense attack and allowing the 76ers to capitalize on fast break opportunities. McDaniel's defensive prowess was matched only by his incredible scoring ability as he poured in a near career high in 24 points to help secure the win over the Hawks. McDaniel's all-around performance in this game showcased his versatility as a player and his potential as a true star in the making. His ability to impact the game on both ends of the court was truly impressive and his dominant performance against the Hawks is sure to be remembered as one of the highlights of his young career. And finally, let's talk about the third and final player that stood out to me on the 76ers and this was Shake Milton. The guy had 16 assists. That alone is incredible. And in my last 76ers vid, everybody was throwing some shade at Shake Milton and saying, oh, he's just an average player. But he is far from that. His jumpers were not going down as he only shot the basketball at a 31.8% field goal percentage. But great players in this league find ways to get going and he found a way to get going by getting everybody else involved. And he was the glue guy last night against the Atlanta Hawks. So let me know in the comments how far you think the 76ers will go in this year's playoffs as the playoffs are just around the corner. And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit that subscribe button as you're going to be staying up to date with the latest NBA news and make sure you hit that like button as it helps get the video out to multiple people so we can grow the NBA community one day at a time. That's been all for me. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.